Hello everybody and welcome back to Bees Blades. I'm Brian and this is the channel that takes you down the rabbit hole of knives and collecting them right along with me. Um, I got some blade mail today and I'm excited to open it. And I want to do a quick unboxing with all of you and get some first impressions. And well, of course I want to play with a new knife. Not that you should play with knives, but yeah, I'm going to play with a knife. Um, I've been looking for another small fifth pocket everyday carry and or secondary knife. And I think this one will probably fit the bill. There's really not a whole lot out here to see. There's your box. And I did get this off Amazon. It's made in China. And there is your, your uh, number. You know, every knife's got its own number. Let's see what it looks like. This is the CJRB Malia. And... Take a look. Oh, I thought it would be a little bigger than this. That's what she said. Ha <laughs> ah, ha! I make myself laugh. Um, all right, let's check it out. There's that side. Here's this side. Zoom in a little bit. Swags, um, the designer of this knife. Uh, her name is uh, Savannah Swaggerty. And yes, I did remember that. So there's this side. There's that side. There's the back. Looks pretty centered. Um, it has the AR RPM 9 steel. It's the powdered steel by Artisan. And from what I know, it's supposed to be a pretty good steel. Um, it's like along the lines of 14 C 28 N. So, uh, you know, as far as a budget steel, it's supposed to be, you know, high, it's highly rated. I haven't heard anything bad about it. Um, I got this on Amazon for $35.99. And of course I will put, uh, links in the descriptions below. Um, let's go ahead and check it out. Let's see if I can open it. That's going to be the question is, will I be able to open it? first try now see front flippers I only have one so I'm guessing old thumb action yes first go like to give you guys time to check it out not move too fast I want to try that again um, they have this in three they have it in black and red and uh, the jade, like the natural jade G10 scales. Man, that flips. That has a nice sound too. And it had you can also get one with the black PVD uh, coated blade. All right, let's see. All right, so we got the front flip, Oop. which is not too bad at all. And then you got your finger, your thumb. I mean, it just pops out. That is pretty cool. And this is definitely a fifth pocket knife for sure. It feels pretty good so far. Um, let's see if I can do a spidey flick. This is going to fail. Oh! Nice! I mean, it's like, I don't even have to break this thing in. It's... The detent's pretty nice on it. So, you got one... Two, three, and let's see. I, I always like opening it from a blade to do some up close cutting. So there's four easy ways to do it. I really doubt I could do a an upsy downsy. Nah, half. I, I'll probably have that one down by the time we get to the full review. Um, if you're still watching, give B these blades a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on the journey and many knives to come. Uh, the goal of this channel is to bring you at least one or two videos every week with the fresh knife content. Uh, unboxings, full reviews from my experience actually carrying and using the knives in, help, in uh, hopes of helping you make the decision to purchase or pass. Um, I only asked once an episode, so there's that. Um, all right, the blade. It's a reverse Tonto. Um, we'll check out the factory edge here, see if it'll show up. See if we can do a little 
zoom in for you. There's your edge. Oh, must have been skin. So the edge doesn't look too bad. It feels it feels relatively sharp just right off the bat. It's grabbing skin cells pretty easy. It's a little it's a little deeper up here than it is down here, but I mean it feels pretty good. I mean for 30 35 bucks, it's I mean you can't complain. The ergos, it feels really nice. Um, there's a Got a finger choil. It's not the biggest finger choil in the world, but it it definitely works. I mean, it's not a problem. There's no, I don't feel any hot spots as of yet. I haven't done any cutting with it, but it doesn't feel too bad. Um, liner lock percentage. Let's see. What are we looking at here? Eh, I would say. What does that look like? I have to look through the camera to see it. Looks like we're about forty percent lock up. Uh, pocket clip. Let's check that out. It's a deep carry uh, inset screw recess screws. That's really nice. So that should be nice. Um, not really sharp. I can feel the edge of this, but it's not. I don't know. It's not offensive. And it is reverse carry. You can carry it on each side. So if you could carry the pocket clip on both sides, you've got a nice indentation. I think that's champering. I know there's so many damn knife words. I'm learning them right along with you guys. Or if you know them, hey, you can teach me. So this is this is a completely ambidextrous knife. I know that'll make a lot of people happy. That's pretty cool. And this has ceramic ball bearings. Um, I don't think we're gonna be able to get a look at those. Um, see if we can see. Oh yeah, you can see them. Nice, ceramic ball bearings. How about that? All right, uh, let me find something to cut. Get a heavy duty piece of leather and see if it can, see if it can muster. Holy moly. Man, wow. Like nothing. I'm gonna call my leather up. Check this, see what it does this way. Dang, that that's pretty cool. It's uh, definitely sharp. So I would like to try out a few more secondary, you know, or fifth fifth uh, pocket carry knives. And if you guys have any suggestions on smaller knives like this, I'd really uh, like to check them out. If you have some, send me some, uh, some ideas in the comments below. Um, so my overall first impressions, well, it's definitely sharp. It fits good in the hand and I had a good handle on it. Um, it's got jimping all across the whole the whole top here. Let's show that. So it's got nice jimping up there. Um, there's no hot spot inside here. So I mean overall it feels really good on my first impressions. So uh, hey you know there's the first knife. Um, I'll be annoying my wife with this uh, the rest of the day, of course. Um, all my subscribers, a special thanks to you. Um, I'm eager to learn. Anything you share, you know, I welcome your thoughts and opinions on anything. And, uh, you know, if you see something, let me know. Um, that's what makes this channel and I both, you know, enjoy the whole experience. So do me a favor and... Uh, don't cut yourself.